What's up guys? How's it going? Thank you so much for watching another unboxing showcase review. We have another Ben Presto statue. We have the My Hero Academia, The Amazing Heroes line. This is volume 13, which is another issue of the character Midoriya, or as we all know as Deku. But there is a whole new dynamic pose on this one. This is a much, much needed version of his fighting style so i'm actually extremely excited to have picked this figure up this is awesome looking as you can see from the box you could see that pose he's making for his attack stance and it's awesome the way you see his facial features as well um as on the back of the box you could see more of a uh a zoomed out version of what it will look like and of course on the front of the box we do see a close-up version as well but you can also see all the information detailed uh, along what this is coming from. So let's take a look. Let's unbox this and see what we got going on. And if you guys are familiar with the way I do my unboxings, of course, I'm one that keeps the packages. So I'm always ready to put them right back in the box if I have to like transfer them somewhere or bring them somewhere. It's always important to me to have the original packaging. That's just my pet peeve of a collector. As you know, some collectors, you know, you could just throw away the box. Me, I'm I'm one to keep it all. That's just my my unfortunate pet peeve. But inside the box, we do have some cardboard. The cardboard is what protects the statue in here. If you guys know, with Ben Presto statues, you are more than likely. Uh, possible to build the actual statue which is not uncommon for these so let's take a look see there you go you see it's all wrapped up this one actually has bubble wrap i've never seen them use bubble wrap for the entire figure before maybe on little like appendages here and there but we have bubble wrap this time so let's get this tape removed and see what we got going on to see how we're going to have to build deku here and from what I could tell, there are several different pieces. So there you go. We got the stand. We have his head. We have the upper torso and the lower body right there. So let's cut this open, see what we got. Okay, let's start things off with the stand. Typical stand, very basic. No actual imprinting of any of the, the license on there. So we do have a peg hole there as well as uh the flight part right there and as you can see they have a different shape uh that you should align it properly with so we'll just take care of that right now and make sure it's inserted properly so with a flight stand we know he's going to be elevated at some point because this will probably be inserted in the body let's take a look at the lower body right there small which is appropriate which is actually really nice, but I love uh, it's it's his newer version, I think, of his costume because it's got the all, the all black uh, armor and the boots. And there is the peg hole, probably for the flight stand as well. And we have the upper torso, the body. Uh, there is like a blemish of paint or maybe it was like adhesion uh it's possible uh from from the plastic that's definitely unfortunate but that's okay it's on the back of the figure so we'll take a look and then we have the head sculpt look at that that is beautiful a lot of anger in there that looks awesome all right let's assemble this as you should know this is the peg for the torso just make sure you align it properly as you can see there is a particular shape to it that you just want to make sure you're doing it right and it should slide in and it should be a snug fit yep this is much much tighter than my other statues so you want to make sure and what you're afraid of too is that when you're if it feels tight you're you, you kind of are afraid it's like you're inserting it incorrectly but there's no other way to do this so once you apply a lot of pressure there you go you could see where everything is 
streamlined into the body so there you go with that and then the peg hole for the neck which you can see the particular shape so make sure you insert that correctly as well and there you have that that's much easier but it is still a nice snug fit so there we go with that and let's place the stand so this yeah look at that so he'll probably be you gotta find that sweet spot going on there you go that is quite the angle he's actually on his side like oh wow that is crazy okay i wasn't expecting him to be like this but that's actually pretty cool all right so Let's get him back on the rotating base and take a look. All right, guys, take a look at Deku. What an amazing pose this is. I love this pose because it's it's it shows a lot more um, emotion, of course, in the face, as well as the power that he's going to exert from his hands. That looks great. I really love how the Amazing Heroes line always uses these dynamic poses in their characters. So this looks incredible and i am enjoying this a whole lot it's going to look great on the shelf with the other characters but let's take a look at the paint and the sculpt to see if you know there could have been some improvements to be done or anything like that so when it comes to you know what i might take him off nah that's all right let's do this so when it comes to the paint uh from the application standpoint it looks everything looks really well done there are a few areas where it will definitely need some improvement but that's with any other application for any you know manufacturing uh, a lot of items all at once so the blacks and the reds in the legs look very clean there uh, there's really no issues in what you see there and they also have the gold uh rivets painted as well so that is a huge plus considering how small it is uh even in the pants or his whole jumpsuit i should say they have the the sculpted stress lines in the clothing which adds a great deal to the i guess you could say the realism of of an animated character so that looks great uh i I was right about the armor because I did take a look at my older one. There, There is a different color in the armor for his shoes or his boots. The the upper torso, same thing, stress lines in the clothing. Uh, but the, the gloves look really nice because these are new. These are new gloves because he's using his hands now uh, for power uh, at this time of the the anime when this was released. Uh, so you could see all the gold paint that was applied here, the greens, the blues, very, very nice. Uh, the application is also very, it's actually very good. You got the blue lines, of course, the green as well. There is a little blemish here and there. It's not too bad, uh, but I mean, it's still straight. It's not, it's not as uh, too uh what do you call it like it's not bleeding over too much so it actually works out very nicely and of course in the back like i said there must have been some some heat or anything like that that kind of had this blemish right there there is some paint bleed right there as well which isn't too bad because it's on the back so it's still pretty good we have his mask kind of up here which is actually pretty cool considering his pose that is like that so that's really nice uh the facial expression is amazing i love how they applied the, the paint or whatever they use to paint the face there is some depth in the mouth so this looks great the hair also very well sculpted and it's got hints of green in it very very nice love how that looks all right Let's do some comparisons. All right, there is Deku alongside Todoroki. And there he is alongside Hawks. 
And alongside Bakugo, one of my favorite characters right there. And there we have him alongside All Might. Scales actually very, very nicely. And here he is next to the first Amazing Heroes line, uh, Deku. This is his uh, kicking stance. So he is uh, elevated in the air as well. But you can see the difference in between the two, as you can see here. And there you have it, guys. We have Deku. Awesome. Midoriya looks great. I love the pose. This is one of the best poses they've ever done in this line. So Ben Presto did a great job with this with this statue. I really love it. I love this anime. I'm gonna be keep on. I'm gonna still keep on collecting this particular Amazing Heroes line because they provide such great detail and uh, dynamic poses in their statues. But I again appreciate the time that you guys sat here and watched my videos. Always, always appreciated. Please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe if you are new here. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. But I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. I hope to see you soon, and I hope to see you on the next hunt.